So in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this Deadpool look. Now, this is not really inspired off of like the Deadpool that you normally see in the characters. This is more detailed than that because I was going based off of the movie costume suit. So there's a little bit more detail going on over here with like little stitching and shading and just trying to get it to look the way it does in the movie, which is really hard. I'm sure like if you're really talented or you've got the time, you could really make it look like it's actually that suit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I thought, look at this. This looks awesome. I love the shading right here. If you haven't already, you can check out my Loot Crate unboxing where Deadpool makes an appearance and gives me a dead crate. Um, yeah, you might want to check that out. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified every single time I upload. With that being said, let's begin. Time to start the process. You're going to start off by using a red body paint to outline the areas you will be painting black. So when you paint your body red, you don't go over these areas. You don't want to mix black and red together because it's not going to be, you know, like that solid black color that you need. It's going to turn into dark reddish color or burgundy color. So you outline around the eyes, the collar on the neck, harness strap, and shoulder pads. Once you've done that, you can paint your skin red, avoiding the areas you just outlined. Some people, their skin gets stained by red face paint. Usually if you're like a lighter tone that happens. For me, personally, like my skin doesn't get stained by red paint, but just keep that in mind. So if you're gonna paint your body like this, um, just have like the next day off. You know, don't paint your body like this and then go to school the next day or to work because you might turn red. I mean, it's best to kind of like swatch some red paint on your wrist or something and then go based off of that if you stain or not. Okay, now there's a pattern all over the suit from what I assume is the stitching. To mimic this, I recreated the pattern using puff paint. I waited till the paint dried and then peeled it off of a folder I applied it to. And then I take that piece and press it against my face. Then I use an eyeshadow brush to dust a red eyeshadow over the paint. This will mimic the pattern on the suit onto my face. Now the pattern looks like a bunch of small diamond shapes. I didn't make my design with the puff paint that small because I knew if I did when I applied the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow will blend into each other too much and the pattern wouldn't show. You could try buying some fishnet stocking and putting that over your head and then dusting the eyeshadow over the red paint to mimic the pattern as well. My diamond shapes were a little too big. Like I said, they're way, way smaller than what you see me do. It's just that like if you painted each individual small diamond shape, it would take you forever because there are a lot of little diamond shapes on his suit. Anyways, before I dusted the eyeshadow onto the body portion, I had to highlight it first. Just mix your red paint with the white paint to create a light red or pink color and use it to highlight above your collarbone and highlight above your chest. You need to do this first because once you apply the eyeshadow there, you can no longer highlight, otherwise you'll mess up the eyeshadow and you'll just end up covering it. So that's why you have to highlight first and then you can go over um, the, those areas with the eyeshadow. Now mix together a very dark gray color. You don't want to use a black paint because any detailing you will have to do to make some areas look darker isn't going to show if the base color where you're applying these dark colors is already black. Use that paint to paint around the eyes, the neck collar, paint the strap, and then you're gonna outline the harness strap and shoulder pads. Just outline them with that dark gray color. Don't paint the entire thing with that color. You're gonna be using lots of different tones of gray, so you wanna make sure you have black and white face paint on hand so you can create these colors. The reason you're gonna be using so many is because that's what's gonna make there be a lot of detailing and make it look different from just like the comic book version of Deadpool. Then you're going to mix together a gray color that's still pretty dark but is lighter than the color you use to outline the shoulder pads and apply that to the center of the shoulder pad. You want this area lighter to make that area look more lifted. And then you're going to mix yet another gray color that will be the lightest color on the shoulder pad and you apply that between the other two gray colors. You paint the harness strap the same way. You outline with a dark gray, use a medium gray in the center, and a lighter gray that goes between the two, and just blend it together. As I said, we are trying to mimic the Deadpool suit in the movie, so we need these different tones of gray to make it look more realistic and not flat. Now it's time to mimic the texture that is on the harness strap. Mix a very light gray color together and just pounce your paintbrush up and down in the center of the strap. It's okay to be sloppy here. In an interview, I heard Ryan Reynolds say that the suit was like some type of leather. Um, he said cavalier leather. I'm not sure. He wasn't positive either, but he knew it was leather. So you're just kind of trying to like mimic leather. Um, in a way and you're gonna do the exact same thing on the eye patch and the shoulders except you're gonna mix um, a light gray color and a medium gray paint together on these areas and I used a stippling brush to paint these ones just because it made it easier to paint a bigger area 
Time to highlight the black areas. There's parts on the eye patch that are more raised, so to recreate that, you use your light gray paint to create a line going from the top corner of the eye patch and ends near the inner corner of the eyes, and then you want to highlight where you would normally have bags below your eyes, and then around the eye patch. Highlight the collar and paint a buckle there, and then highlight near the edges of the shoulder pads and near the harness. You're going to want to stare at the picture, like I said, and I'll link down below the picture where I was able to see this stuff the closest. But um, yeah, it's like in some pictures it doesn't look this detailed, but in other pictures it does. It just like depends what you're actually staring at. There's stitching around the harness strap. To create that stitching, just paint little lines on the outer perimeter of the harness. Highlight around the shoulder pad by just mixing your light gray paint into the shoulder pads. Oh yeah, and to mimic the stitching on the belt part of the strap, just paint a bunch of small lines. There's this spear design that is on the outer portion of his chest, it's raised. So use a white paint to outline the spear. And then there's a lot of stitching patterns you're going to paint on the rest of the suit, especially the body. So mix your white paint in with a little bit of red and use that color to start painting the stitching around the neck and above the chest. For stitching, honestly, I'm just creating small little like strokes, like lines, very small lines, a bunch of them all over the place. It's like a mixture of creating the stitches and then highlighting in some areas, like I'm going back and forth between both of those things, obviously, on the actual shoot, shoot, what am I saying, suit, there's going to be a lot more stitching than what I did, but like I said, if you actually really tried to mimic the suit and like do your body paint just like that, it would take you so, 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 so long. Now is when you'll be using a black paint to make some of the areas stand out more. I suggest looking at a picture of Deadpool again because it's a little bit difficult to explain what I'm doing here. Pretty much any area you want to look more raised, so near like the shoulder pads and um, maybe like on the eye patch or under some of the stitching you apply the black paint because it's going to help that highlighted area look razor when it's like being contrasted with the black paint so again any area you want to look more raised just apply the black paint near it and then after you've done that you need to create like a stitching design on the mask itself on the face and you create that design around the eye patches and you want there to be a line that goes from the top of the forehead down to the bottom of your face and then you continue that line down your neck once you've got those lines painted on the face mask, you'll have to go back with the light red color and use it to highlight around those lines. The brushes you um, see me use are a mixture of three different brands. Like the brush I'm using right now is from NYX. It's their eyeliner brush, but I think it's discontinued. It's an awesome like detailing brush, but I don't think they carry it anymore. And then the aqua color brushes that I use are from Made You Look by Lex. And then any other brush that I use beside those two types of brushes are um, from Royal Lang Nickel. So the dark green ones I use or the dark blue ones I use are Royal Lang Nickel gold Taclon brushes. And you can buy them from like a craft store or Walmart. Walmart, Royal Lang Nickel, they carry it pretty much at any craft store or any place that sells like craft supplies. Now it's time to take everything to the next level. It's my favorite, favorite thing to do when I create a look and that is shading. You're going to use a black eyeshadow to create shadows under the harness and this is very important because that's going to make the area look lifted and then people will stare at it and be like, whoa, looks pretty cool. So near the top of the harness where the buckle is and the strap, you want to create a shadow on the left side of it. Um, and the reason we're doing it on the left side is because the picture that I was looking at, the shadow was um, being casted on the left side of the harness. I mean, you can make it go on the right side where it's going more toward your um, the inner part of your chest, but uh, nah, looks better on the left. You might want to dirty up the suit, so you just use the black eyeshadow to create like some dirt spots or you know, smoke ash spots, and you might want to shade around the eye patches as well, and you really want to use that eyeshadow to create wrinkles around the collar. And um, one more thing, with the eyeshadow, when you pick it up on your brush, you want to make sure that there's not too much eyeshadow on it. So you can swipe it on the back of your hand real quick because if you apply too much black eyeshadow to a spot on the face paint, it's really, really hard to blend out. So you have to be really careful. Use a very light hand when you are blending out the eyeshadows. Finally, I painted my ears black to cancel out my skin tone there, and then I painted the glove. The rest of the body, I painted off camera because it's way too hard to paint that on camera when I'm bending and moving my stomach so much. And on top of that, the mirror I use is just one of those small vanity mirrors. It's not big enough, so I have to like go to the bathroom mirror in order to see what the heck I'm doing. Just remember, if you paint the belt on as well, you want to make sure you highlight and shade to create a lot of detailing and depth. 
um, with your body paint. Forgot to mention this sooner. If you do not own contacts or you can't wear contacts, you can paint your eyelid white. So basically when you're applying that black paint to the eye patch area, avoid applying the black paint to the eyelid and then just paint your eyelid white. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and check out my other videos. I only have two right now, so yeah, there's not much to check out, but I'll see you guys really soon with something inspired by Zelda and I'm so happy and excited about it. And then this week I'm gonna have lots of Batman versus Superman tutorials coming out. So I'll see you guys, take care, bye.